Right, uh, again we're day one now at Astrofest um, and we're here with Richard from Astrotrack. Now Astrotrack have a uh, reputation for making some of the most fantastic portable products on the market. Um, their mounts have been incredibly successful um, for people who want to travel with ast astronomical equipment. Uh, they've got some new products that get Richard's going to be talking us through and the first one is uh, the Astrotrack that has what I can see is an autoguider port on it. If you want to tell us more about it Richard. Sure, okay. Um, the Astrotrack AG, TT320X AG, uh, has right ascension auto guiding so what this allows you to do is shoot uh, a longer focal lengths um, for longer exposures um, so with the basic setup which involves uh, a camera tripod a, a normal camera kit you would probably want to keep things to about 200 millimeters focal length a lot of people happen to have that kit so it works great with the Astrotrack AG, you're going to be able to increase your exposure times quite dramatically. Um, so five to ten minute exposures are definitely doable. Um, and a lot of people are putting CCD cameras on and using the auto-guiding feature. Um, it also just means the polar alignment's a bit less critical. So if you're going to uh, go unguided with maybe an 80, 90 mil scope, the polar alignment is pretty critical. But if you auto-guide, it just relaxes it, which is quite nice. Um, so this is the pier, part of the travel system. Uh, we've got the pier here. I don't know whether you can see it underneath, but we have the wedge. Um, and over on the other setup, there's the, the head. And the unique thing about that that uh, got Sky and Telescope Hot Product 2010 was the fact that everything packs down into the, the tube, which goes into the bag, and, and then you can use that to uh, take it on an airplane very easily. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's absolutely perfect. You look at it and you think, you know, if you're going over to places like La Palma for a holiday, or obviously we've got a big eclipse happening next year, this is an absolutely amazing, really portable system to take along with you. And if you take something like the AutoGuider setup here, you could run that with a very uh, portable little netbook type computer and run it all via your computer uh, very easily. Or you could use products like the SynGuider, the Scarwitcher SynGuider, which is obviously a standalone AutoGuiding system, or the Barder LVI uh, in conjunction with an SLR camera. Plus, as well, what we've seen with the later Astrotrek models is they seem to be a lot lighter due to the new way that you've, you've uh, fashioned the uh, whole metal construction side. So uh, it just to me, it just looks perfect. And the price as well is really good, really competitive. Yeah, well, yeah so it's very, very good. Uh, very impressive. But thank you. So we couldn't quite just uh, leave the Astrotrack room without uh, admiring this amazing new mount, uh, which looks extremely stylish. Um, and apparently it's going to be launched very soon at the Neef Show in North America, which Astronomy Now are going to be covering. Um, so if you'd like to talk us through this, Richard, that'd be great. Sure. Um, okay, this is our new German equatorial mount, um, which is designed for um, astrophotography, really. It could still be used for, for visual work, but primarily for astrophotography. Um, perfect partner for this would be something like an FSQ 106. Um, we're, this is a, a pre-production model. Um, we're testing at the moment with all sorts of different scopes and we'll be announcing the full specification at NEEF, um, hopefully, hopefully along with price. Um, so there's a few innovations here. We've got an integrated autoguider, so autoguiding optics and there's a camera in here. Okay, So that means you've got one less thing to carry with you. Um, that works perfectly with something like a netbook. So if you're doing astrophotography, you're going to have to have a netbook to look at your images so, or something like that. Um, it's uh, DC servo motors, 12 volts, uh, so there's plenty of torque, there's Swiss motors, so lots of quality. Um, there's high precision worms and uh, wheels in inside, um, and also some quite large bearings in a, a fairly unique uh, configuration. Um, it's very, very light, um, so it should be uh, have a tremendous load to, to weight ratio, be able to carry a lot for its size. I mean, it easily fits into a case which will go into hand luggage as well, um, which I've checked. Um, so what else we got? Oh, and the other thing is it's got integrated Wi-Fi. So uh, it'll work with your uh, iPad or iPhone, things like that, or, your, or just your netbook.